Let's see, can we cover some word problems and guide you through what they're saying and how we can uh, actually solve them? You ask 356 people if they enjoy drawing. Of these people, 89 say they do like to draw. So what percent of the people surveyed like to draw? Well, the first thing you want to do is write your percent proportion. And if we do so, we will have A over B is equal to P over 100. Okay, and remember what we said. We said that A is the part. say that B is the whole and we said P was the actual percent okay and of course 100 is the constant. Okay, so now we have our pieces together. The second thing we need to do is substitute our known values. So as we go back and look through the problem, we want to see what is it that they're giving us. First, they said 356 people okay so as we get ready to look at our A and B 356 people is the total amount that's the whole now of these people they said 89 like to draw so we have 89 that's preferring to draw so 89 will be our A or our part Now, what percent? So they're asking us to find the percent. So if that's the case, we definitely know that our base on this side is 100, 100% 100 of 36, and P is what we're looking for. So now, the next step, C, says go ahead and solve a proportion. So we've gotten proportion set up, so let's just go through now and go through our five steps. Okay, step one, 89 over 356 is equal to P over 100. Okay, step two, cross product, that will be 356 times P is equal to 89 times 100. Step three is to multiply. 356p is equal to 89 times 100 is 8900. Okay, step four says we need to divide, so we will have 356p divided by 356. What we're doing is dividing both sides. Back when we talked about equation, we said we have to keep the equation balanced. So if we're going to undo P or to get P by itself, we must do uh, what is called the opposite operation. 356 is times P. We covered that there. So we must divide by 356 so we can get P by itself. And that'll be 8,900, and that's also divided by 356. And so what we'll do, and of course, step five tells us that P is equal to some number. And let's just go ahead and, and work that out so we can determine exactly what uh, P is equal to. So we can just go off to the side here and... Remember, 
your numerator goes as your dividend okay and your denominator always is your divisor okay decimal here decimal here so 356 uh, goes into 89 let's see one definitely wouldn't be three because just looking at three times three is nine so let's try two and the two will go over the zero right first zero so that's 12 and two times five is 10 plus one is 11 two times three is six plus one is seven now we just go through the subtraction phase and bar of nine here make that 10 so that will be give us eight one from eight will give us seven and one so now we'll bring this zero down here so that'll give us 1780 divided by 356 and just to somewhat look at this three times five five times three is 15 and this is 17 so let's try five maybe we're right maybe not but I just sort of looked at from, from a mental standpoint okay five times six is 30 five times five is 25 plus three is eight five times three is 15 plus two is 17 okay so great we came out right with a remain of zero so here we have P is equal to 25 so what that what this is telling us is that 25 percent of the people that they survey enjoy drawing and we did so by using uh, the percent proportion formula so again when you look at these word problems make sure you look at the information that's there pull out the information that you know and use that information to substitute in your percent proportion okay i'll see you soon